Yes, hello everyone. This is your guy Davin the Geek and long time no see. I'm sorry um, if I haven't made any videos. Uh, I have been rather busy lately. And, you know, trying to get this schoolwork done and, you know, dealing with work and all that stuff. But uh, mostly my free time lately has been playing this game a friend sent me. Um, it is called Plants vs. Zombies. Well, that's besides the point. So, um... I know you want to watch this video about watermarks and things like that, so I'm going to try to make this as fast as possible without, you know, baffling on or anything. Okay, first off, you may ask yourself, what is a watermark? Well, wa a watermark is another name for branding your videos. Uh, and what and the way you brand your videos is by placing a image down here if you want to, or up here, over here anywhere that you want it's just placing a little image of some sort you know it represents you or it's representing something that you want people to see so yeah so you so you want to learn how to make a watermark or well I'm not going to make one today I'm going to show you how to place it in your video and I'm going to use two programs Sony Vegas and Camtasia Studio 6 and I know that there are a lot of videos about this on YouTube, but um, I, I just thought I'll make one for you all if you don't know how to do it. And I'll put two different programs together in one video. Okay, so what you're going to want to do is, I'm going to start with Sony Vegas here. Open up Sony Vegas. And this is loading up um, again. So, okay. I opened Sony Vegas, and here's my video. I just did this video not too long ago. And it's about, you know, flaming hot. Okay, now let's say I want to place a watermark onto this video. Now, you can do this two different ways to um, bring an image into the um, into your video, into Sony Vegas here. Excuse me there, I was trying to say something else. But there's two different ways. You can locate the image on your computer and drag it in onto it, but, you know, but first you're gonna to have to find the image first so and then you can drag it in and another way to get the videos and bring them in is to come up here to files and come into import media come over here come to import media and you see I got a ton of pictures here I'm gonna come down uh, find my logo right there and now my logo is right here so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make sure that your your logo or whatever you have your image is on top of the video because if you put it at the bottom it's going it's not going to show up so make sure it's on top I'm going to drag it right here on top and I'm going to stretch it out to the full video length or you know you can do all kinds of um, cool things like cut it out or do whatever you want you know that comes down you know to being technical and you're you're the only one who's going to know how to control that so yeah and you see the image is a little bit too big well what you're going to want to do is come over here well there's two different ways if you just have this um if you only just have this logo on the top here you're going to want to you know and there's nothing else on this same track just the logo itself or whatever you have then you can come over here, hit this right here, track motion, and let me scoot this over so you can see the screen over here. And you come over here until you get that little little um, ball over there, and you click down and you drag it up. Oops, push it down. I mean, the other way around. I'm thinking about the other side. And you make it small, and you can move it over to over here somewhere. I'm just trying to line that up, make it small like this come down and there you go but one thing there's um, <clears throat> but one thing is it's not see-through it's still visible and it's blocking some things well just come over here well there's two ways to do this you can come over here and you see where it says a level and you can pull it down just like that and it makes the image see-through and the other way is you can come to the the JPEG or whatever you have as a icon and you just pull it down right there until you get that arrow and it does the same thing 
again this is one way to do it if you just have it on the you know track alone by itself but here's another way let me delete that so I'm gonna put it on here and let's say that you have more things on here you don't want to do it this way okay oh it's still gonna process it like this but um, you just want to come over here and make it wider and then align it to your video okay let's move on to the Camtasia um, part of the tutorial and in Camtasia it's very different it's not the same like um, Sony Vegas because Sony Vegas is probably the easiest way to do it but um, here you're gonna have to render your video to get the the JPEG to show up so let's go to let's find it where is it at da, 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 da. produce video as custom you know get your settings and whatnot whatever you want I'm just gonna stick with WMV you know that all comes down to um, how you want your video to come out gonna keep going until you get to this until it says video options put a check right here where it says include watermark click options now go over here to this yellow folder and now you're going to find your watermark okay we're going to go here to this right here and we're going to bring in a watermark right here and now you can align it or whatever you want it's it's not as easy it's not as easy as um, Sony Vegas but it gets the job done nonetheless and another drawback about the Camtasia um, watermarking is that it's going to stay through the whole video I don't know if there's a way to fix that so you can only just apply it to certain tracks video tracks on the um, you know on your videos but I don't know if there is please tell me so after you did that just click render and it will render the video out with your watermark in it so that's pretty much it um, if you have any if you have any questions please contact me and you know I'll get in touch with you and show you how to do it so this has been your guide Devin the Geek uh, and I am out of here